Campaigners are considering their route to appeal after a judge dismissed a legal challenge against Scottish Government proposals to appoint a named person for every child under the age of 18. A coalition of charities and some parents under the banner of no to named persons had argued that the proposals breached human and constitutional rights and amounted to unjustifiable interference by the state. But the judge, Lord Pentland, disagreed. The proposals are due to come into force in 2016. They would see every child appointed a named person, like a teacher or a health visitor, to ensure their welfare. Well, we're joined from Edinburgh by Scotland's Commissioner for Children and Young People, Tam Bailey, and from Dundee by Leslie Scott, a representative from uh, Times Trust Scotland, one of the charities who were seeking this uh, judicial review of the policy. Morning to you both. Morning. Morning. Tam Bailey, first of all, I take it you're in favour of the named person policy. Why? Yeah, I mean, I welcome the judgment because uh, this is really about getting support to children and families uh, at the right time uh, to make sure that uh, children are identified early enough uh, to prevent uh, crisis at uh, a later stage. Uh, and it's important that it's uh, universal because uh, children who've got additional uh, support needs, they're not always uh, immediately obvious uh, and children's circumstances change throughout their lives. So I, I welcome this and actually I see it as a support to our children and families. Uh, there needs to be some uh, consideration of the guidance that's offered that, that comes uh, as a result of it. Uh, but this is this is very helpful uh, that we can go ahead and have named persons for all children in Scotland. All right, sounds quite reasonable, <coughs> Leslie Scott. Well, we're obviously very disappointed in Lord Pentland's judgment. <clears throat> um, however, we still think our case is strong and we are considering other options for appeal. We knew when we began the process that it could involve more than one court case and what came out of yesterday was that the judge relies very heavily on the ap applicability of existing human rights and the data protection law and this puts the Scottish Government on notice that the named person law does not give them free reign to ignore the rights of families nor to ignore human rights and data protection and we remain very concerned about the data protection aspect of the new law. We feel it is only a matter of time before data sharing provisions come into conflict conflict with existing data protection laws if the named person proceeds as planned and this could end up back in the courts but only after damage has been done. How? What, what damage? Well, when, when parents don't have um, control over the, the care and treatment of their own child, the charity I work with, Times Trust, the, the parents that we, that we work with, they're already at odds with the very state agencies who will be named persons over the best care and treatment uh, to, way to care for and treat and educate children with ME. And this is only going to make matters worse because it puts the full force of the law behind the named person decisions and actions. And well, that, that's a point, Tam Bailey, isn't it? That actually this is a shift away from parents being responsible for children in, in, in specific areas like this, no, actually to, to, to agents of the state. No, I think actually it's reinforcing the importance of getting support to parents and children. Uh, well, not if they're in conflict with the agents uh, of the state. Yeah, yeah, but uh, uh, I mean, there's still uh, the possibility uh, of looking at how you best support that family in those circumstances. I mean, this is working in many areas uh, of Scotland right now. The importance of putting it on a statutory footing is that you can get some consistency of uh, practice, that you make sure that those protections that need to be built in in terms of information sharing are there. The guidance is yet to come out. I'm interested in that myself to make sure that it strikes the right balance in terms of proportionate sharing of information about listening to the views of the child and ensuring that the best interests of the child are always taken into account uh, in whatever supports and uh, uh, engagement with agencies are there. Well, Leslie uh, Scott, it does sound as if uh, it's still a work in progress, some of the guidelines and so forth still have to be worked out and that therefore there is room actually for a bit of compromise on all of this. Well, well, only if um, people are listening to I mean, the, the, the pilot in Highland has been lauded uh, up and down the country, but there are families that were involved in, in the pilot in Highland that had a very bad experience. And one one family who's uh, on the No to Name Person uh, website, they had to leave the region due to the ill treatment and negative attitudes they experienced. And other families in areas where the provision has been implemented on a non-statutory basis at the moment, they've also talked to problems, uh, but people aren't getting to hear about these. And so many people, parents, teachers, Teachers, grandparents, nursery workers, they still do not even know what this legislation is actually about, what the statutory duties are, or that the named person has been given legal responsibilities that rival those of the actual parents. 
Tom Bailey, that's yes. a point, isn't it? There is a huge workload in here. I mean, not just for you, but for people like social workers and teachers. Yeah, absolutely. And one of my calls early on in the process was that there were sufficient resources to be able to make sure that the sports were there to families. I take, for instance, uh, health visitors. Now, no family would would not expect to have a health visitor and health visitors will be an in person for the early years of children's lives because they are the professional that is most in contact with that family. Well, even and if the most, parent doesn't want them? Well, health, pe people welcome health visitors, people uh, expect health visitors to be involved and well, what to provide if they support. don't want it? Uh, well, there's still, there's still a responsibility to ensure that uh, those children, uh, are, uh, we can identify when they have uh, additional support needs. Uh, and we, we, it's about placing the duty on the agency who is most frequently in contact with the family. So you've got health visitors in the early years of a children's life and it will be uh, an education uh, as the child goes through uh, their educational experience. Okay, and I really the whole purpose of this is to ensure that we have got early identification and the right services to children and most often when there are tragic circumstances it is a, the, 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 one of the issues that are identified is about not sufficient sharing of information uh, amongst agencies. Sure, we've and, had we we've, and, and we've had a lot of that in, in, yes. uh, in inquiries into those tragic circumstances. Well, Leslie Scott, we are just running out of time, but just briefly, can you say, I, I was saying that you know campaigners are, are thinking about the next steps. Is there another legal avenue that you're going to pursue or what's going to happen now from your point of view? Well, as I said, we, we do still think our case is strong. We are considering all our options for, 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 legal, for, uh, for appeal. The campaign, the public campaign will certainly continue. The Notre Dame Persian Roadshows will continue continue across the country and we're in Greenock on the 5th of February at the Beacon Arts Centre and there's a lot of public interest and anger over this once people realise what it actually means for them but as I said many people as yet remain unaware of the legislation. But in terms of campaigning is there another legal avenue you don't know? We, well, we are considering um, all, 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 right. all roads for appeal. Okay. Leslie Scott and Tam Bailey thank you both very much.